He came out with his height and face. The Volvo S60 is beautiful, comfortable, safe, and its prestige is not burdened by the ambiguous image of mercs and boomers. But in the secondary market, 60s are several times less popular than German competitors, Audi A4, BMW, Treschke, or C-Class Mercedes. Maybe it's all about the high cost of operation. What the elderly Volvo S60 requires minimal investment is the bodywork. The old problems with the S60 paint peeling like skin after a sunburn were over. By the time the model debuted in 2000, the technology for applying environmentally friendly water-soluble dyes had already been worked out. High-quality double-sided galvanized metal does not turn into a sieve even after 10 years of Russian life. If corrosion appears, it is only after careless body repairs. The electrics of the 60 was built according to the Swedes, just mastered at that time. By the way, one of the first in the world, a scheme with multiplex wiring based on the CAN bus. Failures in the operation of numerous blocks, sensors, and actuators happen surprisingly infrequently. For example, due to automation errors during parking, the battery can sit down, and on cars from the first batches, the ABS unit often failed. In winter, you need to remember that in pre-styling cars, due to the brushes freezing to the headlight glasses, the teeth in the gearbox are easily cut off or the electric motor of the cleaner burns out. The electric drive of the mirrors also suffers from frozen water, they will have to be bought as an assembly, but the mirror elements with burned out heating filaments are changed separately. And if in the summer it stops blowing coolness from the air conditioner deflectors and an extraneous sound appears under the hood, prepare 450 euros to replace the air conditioning compressor clutch that is not very well located and suffering from dirt. However, the vagaries of the climate can sometimes be defeated by cleaning the temperature sensor or replacing the filter. But the electrical equipment of the engines can throw problems much more seriously. On cars of the first two years of production, do not forget to monitor the temperature of the coolant. Does the radiator electric fan fail? Can the fuel level sensor pod rack? And the air flow meter and the fuel pump do not even work out 100,000 kilometers. It took the Swedes another year to replace the whimsical Magneti Marelli throttle body with the hassle-free Bosch assembly. A gentle Italian with a frail electric drive motor does not tolerate the presence of even a minimum amount of tar, sometimes turning off the engine to release gas even from caring owners, who, on the advice of dealers, washed it every 30,000 kilometers with a special Volvo cleaner fluid. In addition, an expensive Italian node often fails due to the fault of the built-in control unit, and, alas, is not interchangeable with the more reliable German one. More often, at least once every 30 to 40,000 kilometers, on all gasoline engines it is better to wash the control valve of the continuously variable valve timing CVVT, system with the same proprietary fluid, otherwise, diesel rattling will begin to be heard from under the valve cover, and at high speeds, the engine will noticeably lose power. By the way, the Swedish designers abandoned hydraulic gap compensators in the valve mechanism, and they did not fail. Valve adjustment by selecting pushers is rarely required before 200,000 km. Along with the revision of the CVVT valve, check the crankcase ventilation system for patency, otherwise the crankshaft oil seals may leak twice as early as the already modest 120 to 140,000 km. Replacement will cost 150 to 200 euros. After a run of 160 to 180,000 kilometers, the oil begins to disappear not only from leaks, its waste consumption reaches 2.5 liters per 10,000 kilometers, and bluish smoke from the exhaust pipe during regassing will certainly give out worn valve seals, replacement with work, from 500 euros. The upper engine mount is distinguished by a small resource. At first, rubber jumpers were torn already by the second MOT at 30,000 kilometers. The supports were changed under warranty without objection, and since the end of 2003, their enhanced modification has gone into production. But even with it, after 80 to 90,000 kilometers, the power unit is overtaken by tremors and knocks under alternating loads, and in addition to the upper support, you usually also have to change the right one. Otherwise, five-cylinder gasoline engines are extremely reliable. Atmospheric versions of the B5244S and B5244S2 with a volume of 2.4 liters can go up to half a million kilometers before surgical intervention with the replacement of rings and valves. Supercharged engines require a rebuild earlier, after 300 to 350,000 kilometers, but sometimes their turbochargers also live up to this period. Diesels have the same odd five-cylinder configuration. Interestingly, until the end of 2002, 
Volvo used 10 valve Audi AEL engines, designated D5252T, and then, engines of their own design of the D5244T series with 4 valves per cylinder and 3 degrees of boost, 130 horsepower, 163 horsepower, and 185 horsepower. German turbo diesels are more demanding on the quality of fuel, on which the durability of injectors and high-pressure fuel pumps depends to a greater extent, and the Swedes, after 150 to 180,000 kilometers, may need to repair the valve mechanism with the replacement of rockers and hydraulic compensators. None of these engines were officially delivered to us, and buying a former European with an Audi engine can turn into a maintenance headache. Our Volvo dealers have neither the equipment nor experience with it. It is also useless to contact Audi and Volkswagen dealers, the Volvo version has its own settings and diagnostic features. Manual gearboxes are not bad, except that after 150,000 kilometers the clarity of switching decreases, replacement of loose hinges and bushings, 300 euros. The problem with the dual mass flywheel failing after 90 to 100,000 kilometers was solved during the first restyling, and the clutch life directly depends on the engine power. In the charged versions of the T5 and R, it is the most expensive and lives half the life of the usual one, 60 to 80,000 kilometers each. But the automatic machines, on the first machines, he fooled, requiring a software restart, the automatic transmission electronic unit. But those were flowers. And the berry is the ultra-compact Japanese box itself Eisen Warner AW55-50 with a demultiplier and a tricky executive hydraulics unit. When it turned out that the automatic works at the limit of its capabilities and often overheats, it was too late, dealer services barely had time to replenish stocks of valve blocks and even automatic transmission assemblies, only in rare cases managing to replace burnt oil. The work was done under warranty, the mileage of the cars was only 20 to 30,000 kilometers, and jerks and delays in the transmission of a used car will ease the wallet by at least 2,000 euros for a valve block, a new box will cost 5,000 euros. Did the Japanese rush to save the situation? Offering in 2004 an upgraded version of the AW55-51 to with an improved hydraulic unit design, but the problems only shifted closer to 100,000 kilometers, exactly by the end of the warranty. Things started to get better only in 2008, when it was possible to achieve an acceptable box life of 180 to 200,000 kilometers. The AWD all-wheel drive transmission with an electronically controlled Haldex clutch in the rear wheel drive, it appeared on sedans in 2002, and two-thirds of the cars equipped with it, the Volvo V70 and XC70 station wagons are quite tenacious. The problem with leaky clutch control units and cardan shafts dying from water ingress, according to which the exhaust system knocked on bumps long ago, the cardans themselves serve up to 160 to 180,000 kilometers. Suspension? It would seem that. There shouldn't be any problems with it at all. The Volvo S60 is built on a common platform with the heavier flagship 580. But not everything is smooth here either. The front McPherson just fell apart in the first years. Only after modernization twice as much as the previous 30 to 50,000 kilometers began to repair the stabilizer struts, and the resource of ball bearings and silent blocks increased from 60 to 80 to 100 to 150,000 kilometers. And the shock absorbers no longer had to be changed under warranty after 30,000 kilometers. Like the rear ones, they began to serve 120 to 150,000 kilometers. By the way, do not be surprised when, when the stabilizer bushings are worn out, you will be prescribed stabilizer assemblies. At the whim of Swedish designers, they do not change separately. Nivimat rear hydraulic shock absorbers with automatic ride height adjustment. Installed on some sedans and many station wagons, go no less than usual, but you want to save money when replacing. Simple gas-filled shock absorbers, even with a set of springs, will cost three times cheaper. Otherwise, you don't have to remember about the rear multi-link for years, and its bulkhead after 200 to 250,000 kilometers will cost a moderate 400 to 600 euros. The Japanese SMI steering gear on cars older than seven years after 50 to 60,000 kilometers has leaks and play, however, removable. But the main thing is that the internal hinges of the rods rarely live up to 40,000 kilometers. Since 2004, a more reliable ZF steering mechanism has been installed on the S60 V70. Its thrusts can easily withstand more than 100,000 kilometers. Just don't be tempted to attach them to a Japanese rail. They are shorter and will only hold on to a couple of threads. You can only change the complete mechanism, but it costs a lot.
1,200 euros. Total. It turns out, are rumors about the high cost of the 60s in repair groundless? And yes, and no. Prices for work and spare parts from Volvo dealers are not higher than those of the Germans. Not only officials are taking care of Swedish cars today. For 10 years of conveyor life, most childhood diseases have been cured. True, there are a lot of 60s of fresh years of production. But still, it is at least 100 to 150,000 rubles cheaper than similarly reliable classmates of the BMW, Mercedes, and Audi brands.